Hey, what's up guys and welcome to KB Trainings where I share with you my knowledge in the IT field. So today I'm going to talk about SSDs and why it's good to have them on your computers, your laptop or your servers. And also by the end of this video, I will tell you why I decided to wipe out one of my lab servers and reinstall everything. SSD stands for Solid State Drive. It's a new technology. I mean, not so new, it's been around for a while, but it's a new technology that uses flash memory to store your data instead of the old hard drive that we know, which uses magnetic plates to store your data. I'm gonna give you some few reasons why SSD is way better than hard drive. This is an old hard drive, 3.5 inch that I just opened and you can see the inside with the plates and everything. So um, the goal here is to show you the advantages of using the SSD. The SSD, first of all, it gives you a very high access time. Okay, or I should say a very short access time. You can access your data on SSD between 30 and 100 milliseconds, which is very fast on this disk. And if you use the hard drive, the access time is between five thousand and ten thousand milliseconds you can see that the ssd is almost a hundred times faster than the hard drive that's why this is always the best if you have huge applications that need to read and write data on your disk you should use ssd and you can feel the difference as soon as you do it the second advantage is that the ssd is more reliable than the hard drive because these things are electronics as i said they don't really wear out a lot but if you use a hard drive over time hard drives fail most of the time and i mean these can fail too but it's very rare so if you use a hard drive your disk may fail anytime. So that's why these are more reliable. And um, with all the moving parts that are inside a hard drive, it's more possible for it to fail. Uh, I just lost one of my hard drives. It was like a four terabyte hard drive. I lost it because I dropped it. And that's something that happens most of the time if you have something like this. So you can, if you drop a hard drive, you may lose the usage of it and you need actually to contact someone who's an expert in hard drives they can recover your data the third advantage is the power ssd do not really consume a lot of power on your uh, on your laptop or your pc or your server system all these things need to spin all these uh, the heads needs to move so they require a little more power than ssd the next advantage of using ssd is the noise you don't get a lot of noise when you use this i mean you don't get any noise because it's all electronic it's all flash memory there's nothing moving inside but if you use a hard drive you can hear the noise on your laptop or your pc or your servers one other advantage is the size um this is big this is a 3.5 inch hard drive they don't make these on ssds anymore things are getting smaller so ssds just come on 2.5 inch or 1.8 or 1 inch so they are they are very small they're smaller than the hard drives so these ones are big they are disappearing right now they are all technology they are getting they're moving away um, just like everything else you know we're going forward with technology and science and everything so things are becoming smaller so if you have hard drives they take a lot of space they are very power consuming as i said another advantage is the heat you don't get a lot of heat when you use um, an ssd i mean you get a little bit of heat because electronic also uh, sometimes they can heat up when they use the lot, but not as much heat as you get on this guy here because the spinning, the moving, yeah, it, 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 you can use it as a heater in your house. I don't know if that would work or not. And when you say heat, you mean loss of energy. And all that energy comes from the power that you are putting on your disk. So it takes a lot of power and most of that power is lost with the heat inside the hard drive. So that's why it's definitely not a good option. And the last advantage of using this is that it's not magnetic. As you know by now, the disk or the plates on this disk use uh, magnetic to write and read data. So if you get close to a very strong magnet, you can definitely erase some data from this disk. That's why it's not good. At the end, we also need to give some credit to this disk. I know we've been using them for a while, so they have some advantages. And most of that is with financial situation because right now, hard drives are kind of cheap compared to SSDs. I got this one from Micro Center, and I'm gonna leave a link below for Amazon. I got this one, which is one terabyte for $90. However, if you go with one terabyte of hard drive, 
it's around $30 or something like that. So it's much cheaper than the solid state drive. You get a lot of capacity or a lot of memory when you use this hard drive. You can get a four terabyte, for example, for around $100. And if you get like four of them, that makes a good backup server. You can create a backup storage for, for your data. And uh, it's usually recommended, you know, you can't really back your data up on an SSD. It's kind of expensive now to get a four terabyte SSD, which is like 500 bucks. But if you want to get a four terabyte hard drive, it's about 200 bucks and you can use as much as you want to create a backup for your house or for your business. Um, so it's always good to use this. But as I said, they fail all the time. So you need to create uh, to do some kind of red for recovery or anything like that. So why did I decide to wipe out my lab server or wipe out one of my lab servers and reinstall everything? It's because of KB trainings. I want to do things with you. As you know, if you haven't watched the video, you can watch it on this channel. I showed you my data center, my rack and everything that I have inside. So if you haven't watched it, I have a link in the description and you can also click on the small thing here. Yeah, I think I'll put some card here. You can click on it, but I show you my lab and my servers and how I use them, what kind of technology I have, what kind of services I have running on them. So I want to restart everything from scratch because I'm here to show you what I do, to show you what I know or what I'm learning. So the, the least that I can do is not to show you everything built already, but I'm going to start from scratch show you how I install everything, show you how I build virtual computers. I don't need to assume that you know it already because um, KB trainings, as I said, I go from zero to engineers. So I consider those that are zero on here, those that don't have any idea of it. I'm going to install it in the next video, show you exactly how I do it and we will move from there. And also I'm planning to create a lot of more videos on the new CCNA coming out, you know, CCNA and CCNP, the new uh, Cisco certifications. So I need to get uh, another lab running and I'll do that with you together. So if you don't want to miss anything, if you want to see how I do it, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Guy. Thank you for watching and bye.